Welcome to Energy. I'm your host, Ty Joyce. On today's show, Jeremy Wolfmeyer from Parks and Recreation will be joining us to talk about this year's triathlon. We'll also be talking about the newest 5K in O'Fallon that will have you running in the dark along with other challenges taking place throughout our city parks. This and more on Energy. Welcome back to Energy. First up on today's show is this month's Employee Spotlight featuring Jennifer Hoisington from the Tourism and Festivals Department. The Tourism and Festivals Department works around the clock year-round, creating, planning, and putting together events. The persons responsible for making these events come to life are Marcia Seymour, Festival Manager, Aaron Cooper, Festival Assistant, and Jennifer Hoisington, Festival Coordinator. Jennifer started with the city three years ago. Prior to her job at the city, she volunteered as an event coordinator through an elementary school, worked in the hotel business for seven years, dealing strictly with groups and event coordinating within the hotel and sales. Today she enjoys her job working with the City of O'Fallon. I'm in a variety of different types of events that range from smaller to larger. Uh, pretty much any event that takes place in our Fort Zumwalt Park would uh, be handled through me. Uh, such as our uh, Garden Expo and Kite event, which is coming up in April, Founders Day. We have three food truck frenzies coming up this year, June, July, and August, and then our pirate treasure hunt. Um, the larger type of events that I would be handling would be the Heritage and Freedom Fest. The responsibilities there would be handling any type of vendor, whether it's merchandise, craft, food vendors, and then I also uh, handle all sponsorship for any event, including the Heritage and Freedom Fest, and wherever else I'm needed with regards to that. And then I also take care of the uh, celebration of lights and getting all of that coordinated. How are you doing? Working in the Festival and Tourism Department, although rewarding, can sometimes be very challenging. Sometimes the hardest part can just be trying to really think outside of the box to create something new and something fresh. And then sometimes what I call the funnel down effect of everything coming in and then quickly all needing to be done at the same time and trying to do that time management of getting it accomplished. Although being a festival coordinator can be challenging at times, Jennifer enjoys the process from the beginning to the end. I really like coming up with different ideas to create events and once the event has is in the process of taking place watching the people coming through the event and enjoying it and once it's all said and done saying yeah we did that. Jennifer's position is one that keeps her busy all year long. We always try to work for each event depending on its level at least three months in advance and I have an event each month April through September plus Heritage and Freedom Fest on top of that and then in October that rolls right into our fall festival and at that point I'm already starting Celebration of Lights and that takes place all the way through January so it is it is really constant. Jennifer is a hard worker who expects nothing but perfection when it comes to her job. Most of the time, if anybody in this type of position, they're going to be more on the perfectionist side of things, so they really do pride themselves on what they do. They love the end result and the fact that people are enjoying what you have created, and your name is associated with what you do and how it is spread throughout the community. So um, it's important to me that things always go well. If you would like information on upcoming events, visit O'Fallon's webpage for all the details. The 
Tourism and Festivals Department, we do put on a wide variety of events and we strongly do encourage everyone to come out. Uh, you will find that our events have no admission fees, there is no parking fees. The only time that there's a fee that's associated with things would be is for if you're purchasing a merchandise or craft or a variety of the different foods that might be there, but we are really proud of the fact that we are able to offer this to the community at either no cost or very low fees. A new feature has been added to Fort Zumwalt Park. The fort, an 18-hole disc golf course, is now open and ready for play. The course consists of two tee placements at each hole, with one for kids and one for adults, and will consist of two or three pin placements. Players will throw disc putters, drivers, and mid-range discs at metal baskets stationed at each hole, trying to finish the course in as few throws as possible. Maps showing the course layout will be posted, and free scorecards will be available. For more details, visit the city's website at www.ofallon.mo.us or contact Festival's assistant Aaron Cooper at 636-379-5574. Registration is now open for the Alligators Creek Triathlon. Joining us today with all the details is Recreation Manager Jeremy Wolfmeyer. The Alligators Creek Triathlon is entering its 12th year. It's going to be on August 17th and it starts around 7 a.m. Uh, we have a great event going on. Uh, the, the swim is at Alligators Creek Aquatic Center, 300 yard swim. After that you go out on a bike ride uh, through a lot of beautiful area in O'Fallon and a little bit outside of O'Fallon as well. The hills are rolling uh, so it's just a real pretty bike ride and that's about 18.6 miles. And then after that, you transition over and you go out for a 5K run. Uh, that's all through the city streets of O'Fallon. Um, it's a hilly uh, run course, um, but we have plenty of water stations out on the course. And then at the end of the 5K, you uh, finish up at the uh, lower level of Civic, which is at the Bandstand in Civic Park. Um, just a nice area to finish at with that pavilion down there where we do our awards and have food uh, and vendors there for after the event is over. Alligators Creek Triathlon is also open to teams. It can be a co-ed team, an all-male team, or an all-female team. Um, and that's a lot of fun, so if you're not quite cut out to do a full triathlon or it makes you a little nervous, you can try it out by getting a group of two or three friends together and participating that way. Awards are handed out to the top three winners from each age group. Along with the awards, participants will have a chance at winning some great prizes. We do great raffles at the end, so you have to be there and you have to be signed up for the event to participate. Usually, you know, we're giving away a, a bicycle from one of our sponsors. Um, we've done some uh, different bike parts and uh, massages in the past, things like that, that we'll raffle off. Since the inception of Alligators Creek Triathlon, it has grown in size and popularity. The feedback that we get from the participants has always been really well received. Uh, they really enjoy the event. They like that it's local. They like that it's well run and how heavily supported it is by volunteers and staff. On average, the event uh, usually has about 275 to 300 people. Uh, we usually cap it around 325, so there's a little bit of room for growth there, and uh, so we're hoping to grow it a little bit more. If you're not one to participate in a triathlon, but would like to be a part of the event, there are plenty of volunteer opportunities, from preparing and distributing food and water to being a course marshal. If you're interested in volunteering for the event, definitely get with our volunteer services department with the city, because uh, we really, the event wouldn't be as good as it is without the volunteers for that event. To find out more information about the event, the best place is to go and check out our website. We have all of our frequently asked questions on there, we have registration forms, course maps, sponsors, all of that can be found on our website. If you want to register in person, you can do so at the Renaud Spirit Center. Um, we'll get you registered for the event and you'll be, you'll be set to go. The O'Fallon Parks Department has added another exciting event to its list with the Ready, Set, Glow 5K Challenge Run. This will be the first ever nighttime 5K obstacle course race lit by the light of the moon and glow sticks. 
The evening will also include music, food trucks, and an outdoor movie. Admission for entertainment and the movie are free to anyone. A 10% discount on RSC memberships will also be available the whole weekend. The race is set for Friday, May 16th. Registration is required. For all the details, visit www.renadspiritcenter.com. The RSC is offering two great camps for kids and teens that will help strengthen their game and take them to the next level. Kids, are you interested in improving your skills at volleyball or basketball? Or are you simply wanting to learn the game? You may want to consider signing up for the new volleyball and basketball camps taking place in both June and July at the Renaud Spirit Center. Both camps will be offered Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to noon. Kids will be broken up into different groups based on either age or skill level. Um, we'll have two instructors for both the basketball and the volleyball camp who will work with the kids um, as a group and then also work with them individually on different skills. Um, and the group, the day will also be incorporated into a fun session because it'll pull together all the skills that they've learned into different games or scrimmages, that sort of thing. All kids will receive a t-shirt at the end of camp and they'll also receive an evaluation report so they'll know what they'll need to work on. Um, and we also do offer private basketball and volleyball lessons so if campers are interested in continuing on then that's an opportunity that we offer here as well. The Renaud Spirit Center Girls Volleyball Camp will take place on June 23rd through the 27th for girls ages 8 to 11 and on July 14th through the 18th for girls ages 12 to 15. The co-ed basketball camp for kids grades 4 through 7 will take place June 16th through the 20th and on July 7th through the 11th. Registration will close two weeks before the start of each week of camp. Um, registration must be done in person at the Renaud Spirit Center or at the Parks and Recreation Office. Uh, there is paperwork that we require to fill out. Parents will have to show a photo ID when they pick up their child or whoever they have listed on their um, authorization list. St. Louis is celebrating its 250th anniversary, and in recognition of this milestone, birthday cakes have been placed throughout the metropolitan area. O'Fallon was one of the lucky cities to participate in this cake way to the west. Email a picture of you and your family with the cake at Fort Zumwalt Park to be entered into a monthly drawing for RSC goodies. You will only be eligible for the drawing during the month you submit your picture. In December, we will choose one grand prize winner from all the entries. More details to come later on the grand prize. Pictures will be added to our Cake Way to the West photo album. Have fun and happy hunting! There are plenty of fun things to do in O'Fallon. Here's a look at what's coming up. Season passes are now available for Alligators Creek Aquatic Center, one of the finest outdoor aquatic centers in the area with exciting facilities for all ages. Passes are available at the Renaud Spirit Center and Parks and Recreation Office. Purchase by May 23rd and receive a special gift. Visit the O'Fallon Parks and Rec website for all the details along with a list of promotional days planned for this season. Camp in the great outdoors in historic Fort Zumwalt Park. This overnighter is perfect for beginners to learn the fundamentals of camping, including handy outdoor skills like setting up a tent and having a cookout. Enjoy a wonderful evening around the campfire listening to a storyteller, making s'mores along with singing, then wake up to a delicious breakfast. Camping night will take place on Friday, June 6th through Saturday morning the 7th from 6 p.m. to 10 a.m. To sign up and for more information, visit ofallon.mo.us slash parks and rec. Join in for a day of free catch and release fishing at Lake Wetzel in Fort Zumwalt Park. The lake will be stocked with fish, so bring your rod, reel, and bait and get ready to catch that big one. Activities include a casting contest, reel race, worm races, and more. Don't forget to bring your own bait. Family Fishing Day will take place on Sunday, June 8th from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. For all the details, visit the O'Fallon Parks and Rec website. Introduce your little ones to a great American pastime with Little Rascals T-Ball League for kids ages 4 to 5. This fun, exciting six-week program for boys and girls meets once a week. Parents, coaches are needed. If you are interested, please inform staff when you register your child. Registration ends May 15th with a late fee if registered on or after May 1st. The program will start on Wednesday, May 28th from 5.45 to 8.15 p.m. and on Saturday, May 31st from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. 
To register, give them a call at 636-474-2732. That's it for today's show. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time on Energy.